this is Brian Rowe with Mythic MTG Tech number 317 doing an Asban Modern Deck Tech from Worlds. This was the deck that was piloted by the number two finalist at Worlds. The reason that I'm going over this Asban Deck Tech is that it was a giant part of the meta. Eight players out of Worlds played as banned and there's a lot of innovations and a lot of new cards that are being played in this deck there's also some other interesting decks here to take a look at the titan shift deck is definitely worth checking out and i may also do a deck tech on the bant eldrazi which had the incredible win percentage of 71 percent jund also did really well here at 75 percent which makes me question whether or not we're going to see blood braid elf unbanned anytime soon if the deck has the potential to do that well i'm not sure that it actually needs the elf here's the full deck list take a look at this breathe it in figure out what's going on here it is an attrition deck with a huge amount of hand destruction in it it is an expensive deck this is by no means a budget deck liliana the veils plus tarmogoyfs puts you up to almost a thousand dollars between those two cards now as with any deck techs i try to put in a budget list and you can build a foundation of an asban list for rather inexpensive, starting at about the $150 to $200 range, you can jump into this particular deck and then slowly but surely upgrade the cards. It is still a solid deck at this $150 to $200 range. This particular list is a little bit of an older list. I would definitely recommend checking out Collective Brutality, which was on my top 10 list for Eldritch Moon. It is extremely good with Lingering Souls, and it gives you the flexibility to fight the combo decks turn one and turn two, while also discarding Lingering Souls and getting a clock going really, really quickly. Wonderful, wonderful card for fair matchups and for unfair matchups. Liliana the Veil is the center of this deck and is played in all of the lists that I've seen out there, all of these lists from Worlds, Lily is there. Liliana the Last Hope though is also in these lists, occasionally as a one of main deck as it is in this deck, sometimes in the sideboard. This shows that Lily the Last Hope has some staying power in Modern. She is stronger than I thought. I thought she was going to be a standard all-star, which she clearly is, but the fact that she's seeing play in Modern is a bit surprising to me, and I proxied this deck up, and I played it against itself several times, and she's not bad there. Her win condition is also really strong there on the ultimate, and as you're playing an attrition game, bringing back creatures from your graveyard so that you can continue to defend your planeswalkers is extremely useful. Wonderful card. I would definitely look at the San Diego Comic-Con version of her as a possible pickup. Collective Brutality is front and center in this deck, as is Lingering Souls. Lingering Souls is an incredibly powerful card. There was a great match where LSV was playing, and he basically saved the game with Lingering Souls. These are powerful, powerful blockers, and they're very, very good for the fair matchups right now, or the grinding mirror match. Our creature suite here is a creature suite that we've seen with a few notable additions. Scavenging Ooze is seeing main deck Grim Flayer. This is a card that I really hadn't evaluated in Modern and didn't even make my top 10 list for Eldritch Mood. I clearly missed how powerful it is in Modern and it's doing extremely well. That card selection when you connect is very, very, very important. Feed your Tarmogoyfs, feed your Tassigers. Tassiger is also making an appearance here. This is a reason to continue to hold on to foil Tassigers. There's a lot of Tassigers out there. Tassigers is pretty cheap, but foil Tassigers are going to be what people want for their modern decks. The lands are also a little bit innovative here. I've always been a fan of Gavany Township, but we're also seeing Shambling Vent in some of these builds. 2-3 blocker with lifelink can help you stabilize and can be a very powerful win condition if you play board wipes, as we're going to see. Board wipes are in the sideboard of this deck. Massive hand destruction here. This is great for dealing with the unfair decks for your Titan 
shift decks, for your scape shift decks, for your combo decks like Goyo's Vengeance. You've got to attack their hand early and often. I personally like the Inquisitions a little bit more than the Thought Seizes for your Friday Night Magic or your Public Grinding where you're likely to see more aggro decks. Thought Seize, though, is better against the combo decks, especially the Scape Shift, because you need to be able to take out that Forecaster. The sideboard here is really heavily black. I was expecting to see more white from it, but we've got three copies of Damnation in the sideboard wonderful board wipe especially if you've got some planeswalkers on the board and then you can take over the mages there i think are a nod specifically to tron but we saw no tron out there collector brutality this is such a powerful card and surgical extraction is one of the best answers for graveyard cards out there liliana the last hope another one here so a second one in this particular list the non-black sideboard cards here are also very important maelstrom pulse continues to be premier removal stony silence is one of the best answers to robots out there graph digger's cage God, that card needs a reprint i think we're going to see it next summer it is expensive but it's very very strong especially against decks that are trying to utilize their graveyard really heavily gideon and elspeth these are wonderful planeswalkers that stick on the board after a board wipe. They let you take over the board position here. Very strong sideboard here. Subscribe to the channel as we peel back the layers of magic and dive into its grim secrets. Thank you to everybody who's over there on Patreon supporting the channel. I greatly appreciate it. And until next time, choose the cards wisely.